Hey guys, this is Captain Lipoff, and today I'm going to be giving you a leadstone crash course. So, I will be explaining what all the leadstone uh, bits and pieces do. So the first thing we're going to lead off with is the leadstone repeatal, buttons, levels, trap doors, and that's going to be all that I'm explaining for now, and leadstone dust. So, you might be wondering, what does a pressure plate do? What a pressure plate does is it detects when a, well, when someone steps on the pressure plate. So when I step on it, it will give a redstone output. And we can tell if those redstone output by if the redstone is lit up. As you can see, the redstone is lit up. Now, I don't know how many people actually wonder what the button and the le level does. Um, but the button can hold power, or hold power is a block, which we'll talk about hold power in later, and a level, you can keep the leadstone signal on, but with a button, you cannot. So, what hold power means is if you hold power to block, you could activate, um, leadstone dust from behind it, as a simple way of stating it. But, because redstone dust only soft powers things, if I were to run a redstone dust into a block, it would not go through because it is soft powering it. Now, soft powering blocks, certain blocks can see if a block is getting soft power or soft powered, such as a sticky piston, a piston, um, a redstone can pivotal, um, a Woodstone torch, and I believe that is it. So if I place down Woodstone Capital Hill, you can see it lit up, which means it is going to give off a Woodstone signal. Same thing with a um, with a Woodstone um, with a Woodstone repeatal. As you can see, it gave off power. Um, the piston, you can see, was power both assemble, and what, and you also might be wondering, what does a redstone repeatal do? Well, if you run out a long line of redstone, you will see that it's, the, the color is fading away. And you might be wondering, what does this mean? Well, eventually, it will not be powered. So to keep it powered, you can put down a redstone repeatal, and it powers it, and makes it go further. So you can go on pretty much until it runs out again. As you can see, this is really useful. Even if it's ran out, you can still soft power blocks. That does not matter. So as you can see, it's still, it's still power. But, this, but, you might be wondering also, how does the leadstone torch work? Well, I will explain that now. The leadstone torch works so that way it's always on. So it will always power a piston no matter what, unless if you hold power or soft power block. So if I run a redstone repeatal into a block with any source of power, a button, a trapdoor, or even a le level, it will always turn off the redstone torch. Same with a redstone dust, it will always turn off the redstone torch. So you might be wondering, why would the leadstone torch be useful? The leadstone torch would be useful because if you had a piston door that you always wanted to be powered, but you couldn't always power with um, a button, but you want the button to open it, well, you can use the leadstone torch to do that. So if I take my button and I put it on here, it will open up, or it will make the piston stop extending. And then, when the button turns off, they will, uh, will re-extend. You also might be wondering, well, why would you want it turned out? Or turned off? Well, you would want it turned off because what if you, like, what if you wanted a trap door to stop getting powered um, when you stepped on it? So it could be used for that. But it also could be used so that way, if a level was pulled down, then 
the level would not extend the piston. So that could be useful too. Now, some other things we might be wondering is, what does this thing do? Because if you haven't been playing the game for a while, you wouldn't know what the absorber is. What the absorber does is it notices when a block updates. So if I were to place a block, then it would notice. Or if I broke a block, it would notice. Or even when you play a note block or something like that. So maybe not just a note block. But it would notice when you opened or closed the door. So if I go and grab a door, or even a trap door, then when I place it and I open and close it, it will notice. Or I could even use this to notice when this piston extends. And I could make a clock out of it. And as you can see, it keeps running over and over again, which is what a clock would be. But the absorber notices when something updates. Although it only notices on the side that the face is on. So you can see the face on it. So when I place it, it notices. And when I open and shut the trap door, it notices. Now this doesn't just activate pistons, but I use the pistons so that way you guys will understand. Now you also may be wondering, what does the trip while hook do? Well, the trip while hook notices when you step over a piece of string. So if I had some string on the ground connected to the trip while hook, then the trip while hook would notice, even though you can still more. And it's useful because it will, if you set up a trap like this, it would shoot you with an arrow. Um, you also might be wondering, why would, or what does the dispenser do? Well, before we get into the dispenser and the dropper, I'm going to explain what the daylight sensor does. Now, it might seem like it's self-explanatory, but it's not just a daylight sensor. It also is a nighttime sensor. So if you, um, so if you light click on it, or if you're on uh, console, if you hit LZ, LB, or L2, then it will change between night and day. So as you can see, it's changing. And it will notice depending on how close or how bright the day is, basically. So you can see the sun is all the way up in the sky, so it's all the way powered. So what the dropper does is if you put an item in the dropper, like this dropper, then it would power the dropper and it would drop its item. And if you're wondering what the dispenser does and you put an item in as well, well, you might be thinking, what does it do different? It just drops it out. It's actually a lot different. Because if you're using a dispenser, you can dispense TNT. You can even dispense fireballs from gas. But most commonly, you can use it to um, place arrows. And you can use it to form sheep and different things like that. So, um, that's the tutorial done. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, um, I'm out.